This is the ultimate and only levelling build you're going to need for Phase 2, Season of Discovery for Priests. Hello, my name is Javier and I'm here to make your life as easy as possible in the world of Azeroth. So, starting off then, what is the first room we're going to get? Well, this is likely going to be Void Plague. This is available very easily in your starting zone and is quite a powerful damage over time spell. We're not going to be using it for too long, however. And another one you should get early on is going to be Hamanshuli, which breaks off into little free mini-me's skittering about like little mini-me's and they are actually going to like reduce the attack speed attack power and armor of your targets the ai on them is very odd i must say and sometimes they can actually do like more harm than good by pulling of mobs just standing there but overall this is going to help you because there's three of them and they're so fast at getting those enemies down that they can make it a lot easier in the leveling process or kind of tanking a mob as well while you stand afar and cast your spells at it, really. So once you get to like level 10-ish and we start looking at talents, really depends what you need. So one of the things I recommend you get very early on is going to be a wand. And therefore, when you've got some mana issues early on, you could go into wand specialization, increasing your damage of wands by 25%. And this could be really, really beneficial. Another two points you could go into is healing focus, giving you a 70% chance to avoid interruption caused by damage while casting any healing spell. So what this means is, you know, when mobs are attacking you and your casting bar gets pushed back each time, it stops that happening as much by a 70% margin. So some of these can be really useful, and I think often in leveling, it's not all about following that end raid build, but actually about utilizing the different trees, because often at the top, there's a lot more survivability ones that can be really, really useful early game. Now, what you can also do is spirit tap. In my early days in phase one, I did find that this did give some mana, but I was still having to drink. And therefore, it wasn't really doing what I needed it to do. However, once we get started getting into the higher levels, I do think it is really useful. So it's kind of up to you how you go with this. We're going to be at level 21 already, just using this talent build. I would say at about level 20, you probably can then come back out of one specialization, respec, and then go into shadow focus, reducing the target's chance to resist your spells by 10%. At this point as well, quite early on, you're going to get penance. Penance is amazing. This is good at damaging mobs. It's good at healing you. If you're running away from mobs, you can quickly boom, 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 get that penance out. And it's going to heal, honestly, like most of your health bar. This has got me out of so many tricky situations very early on. And if you're thinking, okay, well, you're bouncing around the talents and the different runes. It's because in leveling, there's not one surefire way to go about it with priests. I do really think that it depends how you feel. You know, get that early wand. Are the wands doing enough for you? Is spirit tap giving you enough mana? I mean, for me, it wasn't. But for you, you might find it's fine. You might not mind drinking. And therefore, you could come out of spirit tap and go into blackout, giving your shadow damage a chance to stun the target. I do think shadow focus down here is mandatory. Don't go into improved shadow web pain. They're going to die so quickly when you're leveling that you don't need the extra duration, especially for taking void plague. When you do get a bit higher in into the second zone you can then swap into twisted faith and i think at about level 15 20 is the right time to do this mind flay and mind blast deal 50 percent increased damage if you've got shadow pain on them which is this spell here of course or damage over time swap over to twisted faith when you can and then what that means is that obviously you know your mind blast is going to be doing a lot more damage we're then going to put five points into improved mind blast reducing the cooldown of it so we can use it more and we're going to be trying to go for quite a bursty mind blast build so that we can just absolutely like burn through mobs like butter after that i would put three points into shadow reach increasing the range of your shadow damage meaning that when you're pulling mobs you can do it from further away and obviously the time that they take to slowly get to you gives a much bigger chance of them even being dead before they get to you or just that when they do get to you they you know have less health and therefore it's a less tricky situation because priests really aren't the tankiest of specs especially this early on you could also put two into improved psychic scream reducing the cooldown of it meaning you can fear them away more however when i'm leveling i have found that psychic scream can actually be doing the opposite for us and ends up pulling more mobs where the mobs have ran away into other mobs and therefore can put you in even more danger so i wouldn't recommend taking that 
Then we're going to put five into shadow weaving. Shadow damage spells have a 100% chance to cause your target to be vulnerable to shadow damage. Therefore, we're doing more damage to them. And after that, I would put a point into vampiric embrace. This is going to basically heal you um, and everyone in your party. You can also put two more into improved vampiric embrace as well, improving the amount healed. This is just going to help you surviving as you're killing mobs, etc. And that kind of throughput and making you get through stuff faster. We're at level 37 now on here. And at this point, I would probably just say to put the last two points into darkness if you can at this point obviously at level 40 we're going to go into shadow form and at that point i would swap over to my shadow priest build down below in the description or of course the healing ones if that's what you're going to be for going for at level 40 i'll put those down below as well so when you get to level 30 you can also then get mind spike and this is going to further improve upon the mind blast build we're trying to get here of this burst damage so it's going to increase the critical strike chance of your next mind blast on target by 30 percent stacking up to three times meaning we can just be using mind blast a lot especially with that reduced cooldown with our shadow word pain etc and we are just going to be blasting we can use penance in there as well if we need to on the foot rune then we're going to be going for either dispersion or pain suppression these are both defensives dispersion making you take up to 90 percent reduced damage and you go into like a ball of smoke pain suppression just being a flat out reduction um, in 40% damage um, but these are quite high level runes you're getting these near the end of the leveling journey anyway so it's at that point it's just kind of getting them from your max level a few other things to note please make sure you're doing the raid from phase one bfd the xp you get from there is absolutely incredible i done it on day one of launch on my 25 priest at the time and i got literally an entire level to 26 just from that raid and then from 26 to 27, I think it was like 80%, maybe 70%. I can't remember, it was a few days ago now. But really, like, that raid is insanity. The XP you get is absolutely incredible. And don't also, also forget to get the sleeping bag. I've done a video guide on that as well. This is a sleeping bag. You have to do a wild goose chase around Azeroth. And then you get the sleeping bag that gives you a lot of extra rested XP. I'll put a link down below to that. Other things to note is making sure that you're getting your professions up. You can make a lot of... um extra gear with this and also using things like enchanting to improve your gear especially if you're in the open world that can actually have a quite a big impact along with getting healing and mana potions they can be make or break apart from that then i would suggest that you go and do scarlet monastery at level 28 and just level up from there from then on you don't even need to leave scarlet monastery the fact that there's all different dungeons in there does actually mean that you can do most of the leveling experience for level two over there and there is also these two skill books that you can get over there as well especially shadow fiend this is not to be scoffed at okay the mana you can get from shadow fiend is absolutely incredible and at 40 it's something that you're already going to want to have if you're doing scarlet on street you will same with the power at fortitude one increasing the length and reducing the mana use of it although not a big you know change when you are doing those dungeons you're not gonna have to drink as much because of this and things like that but that's it guys that is how you're gonna level as a shadow priest in phase two let me know your thoughts down below if you need any help at all and i do genuinely mean this if you need any help at all please do join my discord because we're a really really beginner friendly and veteran friendly community or raiding leveling and doing dungeons together and i can help you with doing your ui setting up your rotation class questions add-ons anything at all we are truly there to help and if you want to go one step further you can also think about joining my patreon or youtube membership where you get access to a special vip channel in the discord you get these videos earlier than everyone else and you can also open vip tickets with me where i can help you on a one-to-one -one basis with things like importing my ui and re reviewing your logs and simming and things like that let me know in the comments what leveling guide you like to see next